Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jamaica. I'm a mommy and teacher from Tennessee. This is a life with Miss Jamaica. I haven't seen you guys in forever, literally. I just watched Sand Live for the first time like two days ago. Forever has really been in my head. But I haven't talked to the camera in forever. We're at the school. It's actually a Sunday. Um, the kids are here also. They're playing in the gym right now to make them go in the classroom because we have some things to do. So we're moving to our unit all about like plants and like growing and stuff. And I got sent a new like market stand from Discount School Supplies. So Destin's here building that and we're going to make our flower shop today in the classroom and also get ready for the week because I wasn't here last Friday because Sissy had a doctor's appointment. So yes, look at those little shuckers. What are they doing? Kick it, Sissy. But yeah, so I'm about to get them in the classroom. We're about to get ready to start working and everything like that. Dustin is already in there, busting the box open and things. So let's go help him out. So this is our old dramatic play scene. Y'all know about it. Y'all seen it for years. And this is going to be the newer one. It is like a darker brown color, which kind of killed Whoa. my vibe a little bit because everything's like so much like lighter in here, but I think it's gonna be super cute. So I'm going to get all this stuff on this shelf put away. I'm going to turn this around because you don't need a kitchen in a flower shop. So we're gonna work on all of that right now. Get the kids some paper, hold on. You wanna draw? Okay, so as you see, I'm playing around with the design of the flower shop because I don't have the space to take the kitchen out of the classroom like I did last year. So last year I used to take the kitchen like out of the room and just like put it into our bathroom, but also my kitchen wasn't that big last year. So I think I'm going to cover the kitchen with like some green paper, maybe like blue and green paper and make it look like flowers are back there or something. So. We're going to the workroom to get some paper so that we can see what we can do. <laughs> paper, hi, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> So we cut some flowers, we got the paper. Oh my god. Okay. So let's let's go back to the room. Now let's go back to the classroom. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> so watching today's video to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Pear Eyewear, of course. I love Pear Eyewear. Come and check out my collection because it's grown so much. So if you don't know what pair of eyewear is, pair of eyewear brought the fun back in having glasses. It's crazy. So pair of eyewear sells these magnetic toppers that you can personalize your frames anytime that you want to. If you've been here for a while, you know that I use pair of eyewear as my learning glasses in my classroom and these are two of the fun toppers that my students can choose if they want me to use those when we're learning and using our thinking brain on the carpet. These are perfect thinking glasses. The way you do it, you just take the frame topper that you want and pop it on there. How stinking cute. Also, we know that spring is here, so I've gotten some new bright colors for spring. These are the cutest spring toppers I've ever seen. And if you did know, Pear Eyewear also sells sunglass toppers. They have pink glitter all over them and I am obsessed. But if you're a more casual person, Pear Eyewear also sells casual frames. If you just want to, you know, like brighten up your day and have fun glasses to change every single day, but still keep it casual. <laughs> so if you want to bring some fun to your eyewear, definitely go check out Pear Eyewear. I have a discount code where you can save 15% off your first purchase. It's just Mrs. Jamaica 15. 
Also something amazing about pair eyewear is that they give a pair for a pair. So when you buy your first pair from pair eyewear, they also donate a pair of glasses to a child in need, which makes my heart so happy. We're about to hit the road and it's sunny outside, so I'm gonna put my sunglass toppers on, but do not forget to check out Pair Eyewear. Link down below. So Dustin just finished up with the new dramatic play stand. I will say it's not as tall as I thought it was going to be. And also I thought it came with like baskets and it doesn't. But no matter what, I think it's still super, super, super cute. Um, I did cover up the kitchen to the best of my abilities to look like more flowery themed. I'm going to scoot this back over a little bit. You're kind of like break it apart in a way I feel like it brought my space back that I'd lost so it's gonna look like this in a way so the art center and then like the dramatic play I will say I don't think I enjoy that the dramatic play and the art center are open to each other now because I don't think my students are going to be able to decipher which center they're at. So I think I'm going to move this shelf over to this side so that everything is like in its own boundary. So let's do that like right now. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. So we moved the shelf over here to have more of a boundary for the dramatic play. Um, and I was able to fit the table back over here also. I'm not crazy about his paper and stuff looks, but I think I'm going to add like a sunshine and stuff to it to make it cute. But right now, let's get everything set up on the display. And I'm also going to put some paper on the back of this shelf for the art center. They can just draw on this wall. So we're going to set that up also. But first, let's make this all cute and flower shoppy. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, we're all done with the flower shop, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I think it's so, so super cute. So this is our new flower shop display. I have a banner that says flower shop, but I was like, I'm just not gonna add that, it's fine. And also, some of the flowers in there might not be the exact flower, but it matches the colors so that my students will know how to sort them when they get done playing every day and it's time to um, clean up. So 
this is what the front looks like where the kiddos can like pick the flowers that they want and then these are already done we have the menu and all this is from move mountain in kindergarten um the counter these two sunglasses are flowers which i thought was so cute this says deal the days buy one get one free flower shop is open the window flowers um and then you go inside and have this little area where they can sort things by um the syllables and all the cards in this little thing that says um, flowers, flowers and garden. So they just sort them by how many syllables over here. I am so sorry. Sissy ended up getting upset at this part so I had to do a voiceover by just showing you guys the shelf, um, all their vases that they have in the area which are super stinking cute. I don't know why I'm paused for so long but I definitely am. I need to speed up because now I'm just talking and I don't know what to say. Yay! But um, all these voices, voices, bases came from Dollar Tree. And then I also put some activities over here. They can sort the flowers by color and by um, size. They have some spring counting. And then they're all going to have a wooden um, tulip that they can create in this area. And they came from um, really good stuff. That's the box for them. Get them because they're so cute. In the next vlog, you see the students were putting them together. And it is so stinking cute. So, yes! I hope you guys love it. Goodbye. <laughs> so, um, there we go. So I had to do the ending portion of the little flower shop tour as a voiceover because Sissy got so upset. Um, her and DJ are back here asleep. They had gotten so tired from being there because they went, they were playing the gym, they were running, they were playing basketball, kicking the balls, all the things. So they had gotten tired. So she got real upset and started crying. And I was like, I'm not doing this to my baby. So I just like recorded it and I'll do a voiceover and everything of it. But I think it's super stinking cute. I can't do any more work in the classroom as like getting ready for next week. But it'll be okay. We'll get there. We'll get it done right now. I'm about to eat me some Sonic. I stopped and got me some Sonic. What has me by a chocolate with Sonic is their chili cheese dogs. And I put jalapenos on it. So stinking good. And then I also stopped and I got me a, um, oh my gosh, a ice venti lavender oat milk um, matcha, which is so good. The lavender at Starbucks now has me by a chokehold. I also got a lavender iced tea, iced tea latte, iced chai tea latte. So good. So if you haven't tried the lavender, you definitely should go and try it because I love it. And then to go with my chili cheese dogs, I also got some onion rings. On your has me about chokehold also from Sonic. I don't know. But Dustin's here. He's working on his mom's car. Um, I'm just going to chill out in the car with the kids because they're sleeping and we'll get out when they wake up. So, yes. But then we'll go home. We'll do a little cleaning. You know, spend the day in our life with me and um, all the things. When we leave here, though, we're going to find out what Dustin's sister's baby is. If it's a boy or a girl, I'm team boy because... We already have two girls. We only have DJ. So we need one more boy to like even out everything. Because I'm done having children. I don't want no more kids. No more kids. So yes. But I'm going to chill out in here. Edit my reel from doing the flower shop. And yes. Also, I haven't vlogged in my classroom in forever. But the carpet is um, gone again. And I just got it cleaned from the same girl who cleaned it last time, which is also Sissy's babysitter, which is also like my sister in a way. So this is the carpet before. Just nasty. Disrespectful. My kids love sitting on the carpet in the writing center and writing, so I just can't help it getting dirty. And now she has revived it again. And it's back clean, so we're going to go get it probably tomorrow. I think she cleaned it today, so it's probably like still very, very wet. But um, we're going to get it tomorrow after school when it's all dry because it's going to be warmer today, so I bet it's going to get all dry today. But I'm about to eat before my food gets cold. <laughs> Got to update you guys, but we are at home now. I'm about to speed clean from it's 8 12 right now. We're going to speed clean from 8 12 to. 9 12 and give myself an hour and see how clean i can get this house i already have some stuff in the washer and the dryer um 
Yeah, because we've been out all day. We went to school this morning and we went to Dustin's mom's house to fix on her car and Dustin did fix the car. Go Dustin. And then we went and found out that um, Dustin's sister is having a baby boy. It's a boy. So we went and found that out. So it's been so busy and we just got home at 7, 10 and now it's 8, 12 and I've been standing doing nothing for an hour. It's okay. I actually posted a reel and a TikTok. So I was working low key. So now though, we need to clean up this house. So we're going to give ourselves an hour. Um, again, it's 8-12, we're gonna give ourselves a 9-12. And we're gonna see how much we got done. So just know, in this speed up moment, you are watching a hour worth of work. Just an hour. Also, let me close these blinds before I have creepers looking in my house. That's scary. Okay, let's get the cleaning. <laughs> I got you on a tripod. We're going to start in the bedroom because that's the worst room because I have clothes in there on the bed that needs to be folded. So let's go. My battery's about to die, but the house is clean. I'm about to do my skincare, and I'll see you guys Sunday with a weekly vlog in the classroom. Good night. I think it's like 10.30. <laughs>